everyone, this is Endgame Arts, we're doing an unboxing and breakdown of the demo. This is Grip Combat Racing, the Air Blades vs. Rollers Ultimate Edition for the PlayStation 4. To jump right into it, this edition does not come with any DLC or updates on disc. The on-disc version is 1.00, and there was a 1.6 gigabyte update that will take you to version 1.15. Now, all the updates said that it was just bug fixes and balancings and tweaks, so I can't really specify what they all, all changed and altered. None of the DLC content is on the disc either. It's an redeem code that expires around May, this coming May. So he doesn't got a lot of time before the redeem code expires. So for the Ultimate Edition, it's a bad product. It doesn't have anything to offer. If you already have the vanilla, vanilla first release version, there's no reason to buy this version. It's just not a good product. But it's, uh, it's the first time I ever come into Grip, so it was the first time I actually played the game. Now, the overall game, I did have a decently good time, but the product, the Ultimate Edition, is bad. If you already have the vanilla version, there's just hold on to that and don't even worry about buying this version. But if you do want to buy the Ultimate Edition for the DLC, if you don't mind downloading it, then there it is. But for me, as a complete collector and who wants all the content on disc, the Ulti Ultimate Edition was disappointing. But going into the game for the first time, the game was actually half decent. I did enjoy myself at some points and at some moments. I do enjoy the fact that this is one of the few games that supports four player split screen, so it's might something you might want to look good to if you are looking for a good game to play with friends and family all on one screen, like a party or get together. I like the fact you can customize the cars, uh, extensive certain limits up to it, change the tires, change the rims, put paint jobs, change the color, and so forth. And it's got a good variety of vehicles here and there, but they all largely look the same and. I tried a few of them, they all felt the same to me. I never really noticed any kind of difference in the stats, but that's personally me. The game does support a great few of uh, modes. They got normal racing, combat racing, arena mode, and for single player, you also both got like a challenge mode. And that's something I really want to talk about is the arena mode. It's like a combat where you just do it out in, the surf in an arena with weapons and so forth. Why I want to bring this up is that playing it, it gave me a large feeling of Twisted Metal. And I thought that was actually really nice as I mean, we don't got any kind of form of Twisted Metal at this current generation of gaming. And I did personally play a three player split screen with my nieces and we both had a great time playing it. And it just, like I said, it made you feel like you were playing Twisted Metal again. So if you're looking for something maybe to end that field of Twisted Metal gameplay, as well as being four player split screen, which I had no issues, there was no frame rate drops or any kind of problems playing four player split screen, it was a lot of fun. So just bear that in mind. Now, the racing part of the game is good. It's got some the normal weaponry and so forth, or you got your normal traditional elimination or just con the normal combat racing. You got guns and so forth. It, the racing mode of the game, it can be a hit and miss to, personally to me. At moments, I was having a blast and I love the level design, and sometimes they can be just a frustrating and infuriating. Uh, the game, uh, if you don't remember, like, Roll Cage in the PlayStation 1, it's got the same concept where the car can flip over on its top or bottom, you can still keep driving, it's got a lot of bouncing and jumps, and you can do barrel rolls around tubes and so forth. It follows a lot of that Roll Cage back on PS1, but it does somewhat feel like Wipeout with its high speed or acceleration and explosions and abilities and so forth. It's got that feel to it as well. The problem is, is that it can be very uh, bouncy and just uh, sling you somewhat sometimes off track just out of nowhere. Like if you hit a small little object on the environment or hit uh, the in computer hits you or bumps into you, you fly find yourself flying off in the direction and just losing the race because everyone just passed you by. This can be very frustrating and just just ruins the gameplay sometimes because I do not mind games being char hard and challenging, but I don't like the fact that I'm losing because it's I uh, because of stuff that's out of my control. I don't mind losing because I messed up. I hate losing when it's like there was nothing I can do. I just hit this little bump or I had to fall off this jump and land on this platform and just because at this specific moment it wants to say that I didn't land on it right and flings my car somewhere. It can be very frustrating and just frankly just ruins the entire experience of the game because you're no longer trying to beat the level, you're just trying to beat it just to get it over with. You're not feeling like accomplished or anything. I hope I'm trying to get my point across. But overall I still had a fun time. 
as I've been playing so many name simulator racers, it's been nice to play a little bit more of an arcade racing kind of style. The game does have some good variety of weaponry from missiles to a special uh, whoever's in first place missile that hits that person, time slowdown, and then uh, machine guns, and uh, a, a bubble shield that or a, or a guard that protects you from attacks from behind. Now, I personally do think that guard in the behind should last a little longer. It disappears a little too quickly, in my personal opinion. Especially when you're doing race mode, when you got a missile coming after you. It feels like, I mean, it just, once you pop it, it's just immediately gone before even the missile hit you. But, in the end, I did have fun. I think it's a neat little game if you're looking for a combat racing kind of style, especially in the arena mode. It's something I think you might want to look into, is the arena mode, especially if you're looking for a four-player enjoyment and Twisted Metal substitute, because it, it, it was fun. Like I said, that was the best part of the game for me, was just playing that, and I wish it had more levels and a little bit more uh, design around it. I think they could have really done something with it. But overall, the open edition was disappointing but the game isn't too bad so look into it if you ever get around to it whether you want to buy the vanilla version or if you want to buy the ultimate edition i only recommend not buying the ultimate edition because just because not to support bad business practice but that's personally me so thank you all for watching i will leave links down in the description for the ultimate edition if you're interested you can just look for the vanilla version so again thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in my next unboxing video Bye bye